Hey guys, this is our new generation 1080p PoE network video surveillance system. N44SU plus I41G by 4. This camera system is a whole package with various features like 1080p HD video, easy PoE installation, remote access, and much more. Carefully open the packaging boxes in which you'll find the cameras, NVR, and other essential accessories needed to get the system hooked up. Inspect all the items and report any missing or damaged ones immediately if there is any. Now, let's take a look at the NVR. On the front panel of the NVR, you can see five indicators. They are the power indicator, IR receiver indicator, REC recording indicator, link network connection indicator, and alarm indicator. Here on the back are the four PoE Ethernet ports to which you connect your IP cameras, VGA and HDMI outputs for video display, RJ45 Ethernet port to connect your router, two USB 2.0 ports for USB mouse or USB backup, RS485 PTZ control port, and the DC 12 volt power in. Now it comes to the camera. The basic components of the camera are a weatherproof PoE port, IP66 weatherproof housing, smart IR cut filter, 36 pieces of infrared LEDs, and a glass cover. Now, let's begin the installation. Before connecting the cameras, you'll have to install the hard disk in the NVR first so it can record. Unscrew the metal case of the NVR. Get the hard disk and plug the HDD power cord and data cord into the corresponding ports of the hard disk. Then place the HDD properly in the case and flip the NVR to get the hard disk tightly fixed to it with four screws. If the hard disk is already built in the NVR, you can just ignore this part. After this, you can get the cameras hooked up. Find the coming Ethernet cables in the package and connect one end of the cable to the camera. Remember to put on the weatherproof casing at the joint and fix it tightly so the camera is totally waterproof. The other end of the Ethernet cable goes to one of the PoE ports on the back panel of the NVR. Then connect the monitor to the NVR via HDMI port. Plug in the USB mouse and the power adapter. Finally, don't forget to use an Ethernet cable to connect the NVR to your router and get internet connection. And then you can go over the guide wizard on the monitor. There is no need to modify the settings, just leave them by default and click next. Here you'll also find the QR code of the mobile app and the QR code of the NVR's serial number. They are used when you want to get remote access to the system via your mobile devices or computer. After the guide wizard, you can watch live monitoring video on your monitor now. Remote monitoring on smartphone, tablet and computer is also very convenient via our free desktop or mobile apps. Let's first check out how to get remote access on a smartphone. For smartphone and tablet users, first download and install the XMI app. You can get it from Google Play or App Store for free. Or just scan the QR code on the screen. Open the app and register an account. Input the username, password and email address to create your own account. Log in with the account you've just created.
click on plus on the top right of the interface to add the NVR. Create a new device name for the NVR and get the serial number by scanning the QR code showing in the NVR guide wizard. How to find the QR code then? You can enter the NVR guide wizard by right clicking the monitor interface on your monitor and choose guide. There you'll find the QR code, which we also mentioned in the NVR quick setup part. Then the NVR you just added will be presented on the screen. Click on it. All the cameras you have connected to the NVR will be presented on the screen. Click on any one of them to watch live video. Another option for remote monitoring is via your computer. Get the software CMS from the coming CD and install it on your computer. Open the PC client software and log in. The username is super by default and no password is needed. After login, choose system. Click on device manager. Select add area to create a group for the NVR and input a zone name that is easy for you to remember. Once done, click on the zone name you just created and then click on Add Device to add the NVR into that group. Name your NVR, check Cloud, input the serial number of the NVR. You can get the NVR's serial number by right-clicking on the monitoring interface on your monitor to enter the main menu. Choose Info and select Version. There you will get the basic information of the NVR, including its serial number. Once done, click on OK. Then it enters the viewing interface. Double-click the device name you just added and the pull-down menu shows all the cameras you've connected to this NVR. Move the cursor to the NVR device name, right-click your mouse, and select Connect All Video Extra Stream. And then the real-time monitoring videos are presented on the screen. You can change the display modes of all the videos via the buttons on the bottom of the screen. You can also do other settings and control the system via the right side menu. OK, this is all about the new 1080p HD PoE Network Video Security Kit. It will become your reliable companion at home or in office. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to come to us.